In this video, we're going to analyze a series and parallel circuit. We're going to start off with a series circuit. It's a circuit with only one path. The battery has a voltage of 12 volts. Resistor 1 has a resistance of 8 ohms. Resistance 2 has a resistance of 3 ohms. Resistor 3 has a resistance of 1 ohm. The first thing we're going to do is to figure out what is the total resistance or the equivalent resistance. And the equation for finding the total resistance or the equivalent resistance is going to be R. And you can write EQ or you can write S for series is equal to uh, the sum of the resistance in all the resistors. So R1 plus R2 plus R3. And so if we add 8 plus 3 plus 1, we get 12. And then to find the current, we're going to use Ohm's law. And Ohm's law states that current is equal to the voltage divided by resistance. So taking the voltage 12 divided by 12, we get 1 amperes. Now in a series circuit, um, it's important to remember that the current uh, throughout the circuit is going to be constant. It's going to be the same. So the current through the battery is equal to the current through resistor 1 is equal to the current through resistor 2 is equal to the current through resistor 3. So all of these is going to be 1, 1, and 1. Next, to find the voltage across each of the resistors, that's going to be over here. So if we were to uh, hook up a voltmeter, we can find the voltage across each of the resistors. And to do that, we're going to once again go back to Ohm's law and use V equals I times R, current times resistance. Okay, so this voltage will be equal to this current times the resistance. So 1 times 8 is 8, 1 times 3 is 3, and 1 times 1 is 1. Now one thing you're going to notice is that all of the, if you add up all the numbers over here, 8 plus 3 plus 1, you get 12. So that's another characteristic of a series circuit, which is that the voltage across the battery is equal to uh, the sum of the voltages of the elements in the circuit. So V1, the voltage across resistor 1, plus the voltage across the resistor 2, plus the voltage across resistor 3. Next, we're going to calculate power. So power is equal to current times voltage. Now, there are other forms of power as well um, before uh, for right now, we're going to go ahead and use current times voltage. And so uh, the current times voltage here, 12 times 1, we get 12. Uh, 8 times 1 is 8. 3 times 1 is 3. And 1 times 1 is 1. And once again, you're going to notice that if you were to add up all of these, okay, um, they would equal the power, which kind of makes sense because the power is how quickly the energy is being used or being transformed. Uh, so the power of R1 plus the power of R2 plus the power of R3, um, if you add them up, it tells you what the powder, the power, the total power delivered um, by the whole circuit is going to be. One more thing to note about series circuit is that if one component uh, goes out. If you, uh, um, for example, if these were light bulbs and you disconnected one of the light bulbs, then all the light bulbs would go out because if you disconnect one light bulb, you're going to create a gap. And if there's a gap um, in the uh, circuit, then there's not going to be a current. So in a household circuit, this would not be a good way to connect your circuits at home because if your household circuit was connected in series, if someone turns off the light in one room, then all the electrical uh, devices are plugged in in the other rooms. All of it would go out. So now let's take a look at a parallel circuit. In a parallel circuit, there is more than one path. In this parallel circuit, the battery has a voltage of 9 volts. Resistor 1 has a resistance of 3. Resistor 2 has a resistance of 4, and resistance three, resistor 3 has a resistance of 6. The first thing we're going to do is to calculate the equivalent resistance, or the total resistance. I'm going to call this RP for parallel. So the equation for uh, adding up the resistance in parallel is 1 over RP equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R. 3. So now I'm going to substitute my numbers. So I have 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4 
plus 1 over 6. If I, add, if I add those all up, I get 9 over 12. Now I'm looking for RP, not 1 over RP. So I'm going to take um, take these uh, the fractions and I'm going to flip it up, upside down. So I get RP is equal to 12 over 9, uh, which is uh, about 1.33 ohms. Okay, so then I'm going to write that here. So 1.33 ohms. The next step is to use Ohm's law, Ohm's law, and which tells us that current is equal to voltage divided by resistance. And the current, the voltage here is 9, the resistance is 1.33. So 9 divided by 1.33, I get 6.75 amperes. Okay, so this is 6.75 amperes. Okay. Now the current is not going to be the same through all the branches. Um, these are the, the paths through the resistor. We call those the branches. They're not all going to be the same um, as the, the current through the, the battery uh, because it splits out. If you take a look over here at this point, they, they split up. You have a current, and I'm using conventional current here. Obviously, electrons are flowing in the opposite direction. Um, but uh, over here, they split up. So uh, the current through the branches are not going to equal the current through the, through the battery. However, one of the characteristics of a parallel circuit is that the voltage across the battery is equal to the voltage across each of the branches or each of the resistors. So it's going to be equal to V1, equal to V2, equal to V3. Okay, so each across each of these um, resistors, uh, we could hook up a voltmeter and measure the voltage, and uh, the voltage across each of the resistors will be the same as the battery because each of the uh, resistors are connected through the wire directly to the battery, and this um, R2 is also connected uh, directly to the uh, battery through these wires, uh, and so all of these are going to be nine volts. 9 volts, 9 volts. So all the resistors will have a voltage of 9 volts. Now to calculate the current, we're going to go back and use our uh, Ohm's law, which is voltage divided by by resistance. All right. So if I take 9 divided by 3, I get 3. I get 9 divided by 4, I get 2.25. 9 divided by 6, I get 1.5. Now, one thing to notice that's uh, that's interesting is that the current, if you add up the current, we get the total current through the battery. And that should make sense because the current through R1 plus the current through R2 plus the current through R3, it should equal the current through um, the tr what I call the trunk wire here, or the current through the battery. So another characteristic of a parallel circuit is that the current through the battery is equal to the current that's through uh, resistor 1 uh, plus the current through resistor 2 plus the current through resistor 3. Okay, If you have additional paths, then you would add those up as well. Next, we're going to calculate power. And power is uh, P equals IV. All right, so to calculate power, we're going to take the current over here, I, and then the V, uh, and here we get 60.75, okay, 3 times 9 is 27, 2.25 times 9 is 20.25, and 1.5 times 9 is 13.5. Now, interesting to notice here is that if you add up the power, the power output, how quickly it's using up the energy, uh, then it equals uh, the power of the total st of the of the whole circuit, which makes sense uh, because the circuit is made up of each of these electrical components. And then, lastly, I want to just mention that if you were to uh, disconnect one of these uh, electrical elements, one of these resistors, or imagine if these were bulbs, if you were to disconnect one of these bulbs the other bulbs would stay on because the other bulbs are still making a uh, closed circuit with the bulb. There's still a complete loop um, with the light bulb, so they would stay on. 